Okay, so it's become abundantly apparent to me that I haven't explained properly to you guys what I meant by point the LiDAR dots at the screen because you guys are fucking stupid. So what it means is that you have... Because uh, we're saving on color space, render energy here. Dots that are placed, you know, far enough apart to where it's, you know, like efficient for the game environment while still being accurate. And they go from super white all the way to like darker gray to, you know, like, you know, sort of black. And all that those dots do, it's just like reference dots in a movie, but for the environment. And the game renders them and then hides them and uses those references as like where you're pointed like so where it's always in front of you pointed at you like changing like the dots different colors as as it's supposedly dynamic lighting yeah. it's lidar it is dynamic lighting but it's only from the shooting off of per surfaces perspective fakely and yeah. it looks as good as, and it, it's way more efficient this is at least 75 times and percent so there's more these efficient screens that have come out the whole time that have like 16 or 32 areas of backlight well, then there's ones that have a ton. Well, the ones that have a ton, that technology is for this purpose, for LiDAR pointed at you. So then there's reference points where it, you know, comes off of that point like a driver engine of extra light in the screen itself that helps render that render it for the video game. You mean pixel pipelines? Yeah. Yeah, you can implement it with pixel pipelining to the better screens. I, I, almost I was even... talking about that Sony screen that had uh yeah pixel reference points as well yeah for that, well that's what i was gonna yeah. say i was gonna say pixel pipelining is standard in screens today because they have to do higher refresh rates so i was saying all the other things i was gonna give you didn't cut me yeah. off say all the other things that go along with that that make that even more efficient need to be implemented as well see this is for low power people because the whole time I've always been using AMD and so that's just crystal gems cut down in size and what that means is I don't, they have physical pipelines yes. like say 2048 or whatever so if I have a 2K screen and there's a pipeline for each pixel then I can actually have games rendered through all the color spectrum on any screen that has like some sort of rainbow sync to the computer I can just render every pixel, refresh it, point it at my eyeballs with its own dedicated pipeline of unique color. And that wall, that's like Unreal Engine 5. You can do anything with that level of energy. Yeah, and that's my point, is that like when you have dedicated architecture what does architecture mean it means arcing, like you know, an arc of light, say a laser or arch, etched it, that's what architecture is. So, I mean, I just laser etch an entire pantheon. And my point is this, though, that that's what's happening in the computer. All the pipelines are individually etched and etched with some sort of, like, gem laser light that leaves behind in the material some of that in microparticles. So they actually are tiny traces of gem light. That's what I'm trying to tell you, you guys. They use ruby sapphire lasers. It's the most advanced technology for AMD. And then NVIDIA tries to pretend like they're on par while there's nothing more advanced because it's about efficiency. I always say this. And real gemstones are better than ones and zeros placing color units in a megapixel scale like it's a DSLR that's trying to send to your screen, basically, from a graphics card that's using, like pissy uranium yellow brights from like sulfur i swear to god that's what it looks like well as they get the technology correct amd goes from having its cards have you know extra chips like an nvidia card or some other brand and there's many other brands guys you're just living in the stone ages there's so many brands so but then as amd gets more advanced like for example our monk fruit crystal graphics card here that has a floating point of what It'll actually render. They say 5K, but it's much above. It is simple. It's just a bunch of monk fruit gas chips all squeezed and slapped in a row. There aren't really many supporting chips on it. It's getting simple again because it's just pixel pipelines with like a fruit that has intense colors that hold, you know, eternally. That's what I'm saying. And so I'm saying whether you, wherever you get the gem light from, even if it's fruit, you know, you concentrate that, you refine it in a big old factory, get all the acids concentrated out of it or into it if you want that reflective effect. The point is the same. 
um, actually having material you're using rather than saying you're going to render things out of the concept that material would be there out of the concept of electricity switching yeah. back and forth is insanely inefficient and it's why you always have terrible renders the games run bad whenever something like a bucket falls off of yeah. something the game chugs frames but i'm just saying if you want to do it the way he's saying it you'd have to do it the electricity would have to be live happening in tiny sizes like each pixel is a Nixie tube of advanced modern proportion, which the government did develop already. There's Nixie tube screens where there's actually arcing electricity in tiny size over and over duplicated. And it makes beautiful imagery that's electric vivid. And that's what you guys actually secretly want because you're morons. Yeah, but my point is that just like anything developed for any purpose, I'm assuming it's really big and it's probably for radars for, like, uh, the Air Force or something stupid because they never got past that, I assume. Well, I mean, there's some advanced... Because nobody cared enough, There's some advanced lightboard signs you'll see randomly around in town that are you making use of, like, micro, like... Nixie tube little electrical jump points sometimes. Well, yeah, and what I'm saying about that in, in science terminology is if you have a motherboard, you guys are really fucking stupid, by the way. It's not a neon tube. You don't need to have your graphics card fucking glowing. It's tiny, the same type of tiny little cut architecture that you have, but with a sandwiched layer, you just slap over the top of it so all of those tubes are covered because they're just etched down whatever nanometer, and then you just have gas flowing through them, tiny, tiniest amount of gas in your card, and yeah. that produces the effects that he, he's talking about, like their tiny little neon architecture. Yeah, an but original... Hidden. Original video games. You seal it, of course. They just have gem boards like that, like a motherboard. Then you'd actually insert the game cartridge with the cut inlays that the energy runs through. So games were all originally sort of like, you know, what is that? Like Wolfenstein or whatever, where you're running around the doors slide open and all that. That's like an original game on like a gem motherboard. Where, like, you would insert a cartridge and then it would send light through it. And then this gating that is the doors that load, sort of. Like, it's the most primitive. Come yeah, on. like, they actually built the physical environments for real. That's yeah. why you'll see a lot of warping and stuff. It's the same thing with Super Pets that we did. Uh, the overall concept of it is just you're ref in the refractions of a gemstone that is kind of the whole environment out to the skybox that is the city. And there's, like, that's the geometric lines. So... It's not a real gemstone, yeah. though, so you can choose where the lines go, and that's the warping effect I was talking about, where anything can warp any direction to make it easier for yeah. shitty eyeballs to and see. And I'm going to make fun of it in the further Super Pets plot, like, you know, with the Joker dog, with the nose yeah. that's always pointing at the camera and other things. So that it's obvious what's happening to yeah. your eyes when you watch the movie. Exactly. We'll, we'll make fun of it and see yeah. if enhance it. And like, you maybe you can show off what they did in the, on the screen back there. Okay. Well, I meant here. Yeah. Just rendering it at you so then the color where it's bright, they can just turn each pixel up and shoot it right at you, you know? Yeah, pixel right. pipelines. That's what I was saying. Yep, beautiful. I'll support LiDAR. I just won't support shitty LiDAR.